Uh, so, yes, it, it was just an amazing, beautiful, beautiful place. And uh, so on the property, there were three buildings. The first one was a beautiful little white cottage, and then there was like the main villa, and then there was another um, building that had like 12 rooms in it. So you had three in this building, you had three rooms and three baths, and oh my gosh. So he took me around, I looked at this place, I was just in awe. And I said to him, his name was Winston, by the way, bless you, Winston. Uh, I said to him, there's no one here. This is a retreat center. There's no one here. He said, yes, miss. He says, um, ever since 9-11, uh, we haven't had much business. People have stopped coming. And, you know, I was so saddened by that because here this beautiful center is, and there's nobody here. And so I said to him, I said, um, and so, okay, so let me back up a little bit. So Tony and I were actually looking for another place to live because we had kind of outgrown the guest house. Uh, Brother Carl was with us, and, you know, we were wanting to do some kind of business things. And so I'm all of a sudden this divine idea came to me, like, I wonder if they would be willing to rent this cottage out since they're not making any money anyway. Maybe we could pay them what we would be paying someplace else. So I said to him, I said, well, um, I said, you know, my husband and I are looking for a place to live. You know, we're pretty new here in Jamaica. We're staying at a place, and we've kind of outgrown it. Do you think that the people who own this may be interested in renting out this little three-bedroom cottage? And he said, well, I really can't say. He said, but I can put you in contact with the managers of the property, and you can have a, con a conversation with them. And I said, yes, yes, and yes. I was too excited. Let me tell you something. I said, Brother Winston, stay right here. I'm going to get my husband. I'm bringing him right back, okay? I mean, I literally, I didn't really run down here, but I kind of like did a slow jog down that steep hill. Went, got Tony. I'm checking Tony, 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 Tony. Guess what, guess what, guess what? There's a retreat center right next door. you got to come see it. You've got to come see it. It's magnificent. It's wonderful. Come. Huh. <laughs> We climbed up that hill again. Tony saw the place. He was as mesmerized by it as I was. I mean, you just cannot walk up here and not be mesmerized by the beauty of this particular place and this land, Palm Ridge Retreat, and beautiful retreat, St. Mary, right outside little Charlestown. He was excited. I told him what the possibility was that maybe we could rent the cottage, but that he would have to talk to the managers. Now, one thing I will say about my uh, beloved Tony, God bless him, is he got the gift of gab, okay? It, you know, he's an entrepreneur. He was a commercial salesperson. He's always, always been in sales. I knew if anybody could talk these people into renting us that space, he could, and he did. That's how I ended up living in a retreat center for six months in Jamaica. And that's why I named my book Six Months in Jamaica. And it's about that journey. It's about the miracles, the manifestations, the love. And I had to learn a lot, a lot of lessons. I got a lot of lessons up there on that mountaintop. God gave me a lot of wonderful experiences. I had to learn some love and forgiveness and unconditional and we, you'll hear more about that when you read my book, okay? But that's how I ended up with a retreat center. I lived there. God blessed us to be able to, um, we, we, we had our intention was to get the retreat center up and running. Uh, but then came Hurricane Ivan, okay? And that's the next part of the story. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for joining me on my wonderful adventure in Jamaica. We'll be coming back again with some more of the story, so stay tuned. But let me just say this before I go. Whatever you think about, you bring about, if you've got a big dream, dream your God-sized dream. As my beautiful sister Janine would say, dream your God-sized dream. Never give up. You never know when the universe is there and ready to bless you. I started at the age of 15, wanting to live in Jamaica. I had the wonderful retreat center experience when I was in Florida. And everything was a divine plan at work. I didn't even know what the universe had for me. 
I just knew it was going to be powerful, amazing, and it was. And you'll hear more and read more when my book is out. I'll let you know. And then we'll come back and talk some more uh, in, in this particular adventure. Thank you so much. God bless you. Continue dreaming. One love.